Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack here and I wanted to show you this piece from La Resistencia. You will see what has become from, for modern women in current year. Feminist gangs from graffiti to ending children's lives. Look at this photo. It, this is from Argentina. Axe for the man. Look at what they preach. I don't have anything much to say. The, the image speaks for itself. Since approximately 2014, the cities of Latin America have been filled with a group of girls who are poorly groomed with a playmobile style haircuts and quiet balance. Oh, that's true. Uh, uh, in Mexico, they are already there every year now from, I think, to, since 2018. These women, ra these radicals, terror groups, uh, starts attacking business owners and public property and instead of actually uh, touching the real problem, they, they don't want dialogue and even they t they throw co Molotov cocktails in and near the uh, public municipality from Mexico City. And it wa that wa I remember that was a quite hilarious video when one of these quote-unquote strong women try to throw these molotovs to to the building and since there was a, a wall a, a contention wall they it bounced back to them <laughs> and, and I think you can still find those videos there but anyway I don't think I can explicit show say the words here because in the male's life were in dub you the widow when in the <laughs> and your father, your brother and your boyfriend and and the never inevitable legal ending lies unborn childs as not to die. Man, I I, I, <laughs> I, want to, I want to say these words, but I know YouTube is gonna flag this video and don't want to do that yet. But this history, these radicalized groups of extremist women with the pink, blue, yellow, rainbow colors they paint in their heads while they're cut it off, like uh, trying to imitate Men, I don't know. <laughs> they when they they do these short haircuts that looks like a man, and then there are ugly land wells in their groups. They say no more for us, and I ask this question: Do you really wanna be hooking up with this woman? I don't think so. All these acts of violence and street crime enjoy total impunity because they are committed in the name of feminism. Oh yeah, like I said, all by that ideology. The big media, which in other cases destroys the public life of any citizens, are total silent. Oh yeah, like in United States, like that guy Kyle Rittenhouse has tried to destroy it. The false accused guys of, let's say, it, struggle snuggles. They they get falsely charged and thrown out of jail without an, even a trial. And without even listening to the evidence because, say, hey, one of these quotes of these feminist goblins, the one, the, one of the quotes I remember is, I, I prefer 
believing in a supposedly victim than an a supposedly victimizer. I'm like, what? <laughs> You're just, are you fucking serious? <laughs> This is what they preach. Uh, the, well, in every channel, radio newspaper, there is an editor of gender issues. In other words, someone who has to minimize the vandalism committed by feminist militants. Yeah, like that quote you hear often that like, it's okay when we, when we do it. For this reason, it's not a coincidence that the big Argentine media have remained silent in the face of the horrific ending of a boy, Lucio Dupuy. But let's take a look at the chronology of events. On November 26, from 2021, Lucio Dupuy arrived with heavy bleeding at the public hospital in the province of La Pampa. After a few minutes, he was declared deceased. The autopsy report on Lucio's body indicated one of his conclusions that there were signs of compatible psychical and this word abused. It was from that report that the expert spoke of the repetitive exercise of violence against a ch child. Man. Uh, I, I read a little and they tried to pro, uh, turn a blind eye on this, on this actually horrific news. But... The expert reports on the cell phones of Magdalena Esposito Valenti, Lucio's mother, and his girlfriend, Abigail Paez. Both feminist militants determined that the two were the main suspects in the ending of the minor. Yeah. And now I remember uh, there was a news uh, about this la child's life ended because of these two women that preach hating men and well they give him th they gave him the right to to marry and well they didn't actually acknowledge if there was something well and let's be honest the government no matter the government they don't care about how you they educate your children only to have been indoctrinated but that's how it is Now, this is on Wednesday, December 7, 2012, already in a full trial, Abigail Paz declared the following. And man, I don't, I don't think I can read this. She, she was actually proud of what she did. She, she was very proud of what she did. And she went, wanted to be in full detail only because he was a male, a child-born male. <sighs> They want to push this agenda. It not, first started in the United States, and then he, he go to Spain, and then Spain preached it to Argentina, Bolivia part of Peru, Ecuador, Mexico, these Latin American countries that have been infected with this kind of mindset, even Brazil. Brazil is having issues with that kind of infection. It has been a little because I know the Brazilians can stand against this, but That doesn't mean the fact that the infection of this ideology is there. Uh, this is this is what the feminists preach, and even that, this is not the only thing they preach. I know since the early moment, uh, early times of this radicalized ideology. They want to get more power and traction, but only 
preaching hate uh, from a, a woman to a man. They they preach that so often now, but they started like this, but they did receive support or um, let me repress it, they get support from other ideological groups like the LGBT because these women allow that only because they want to be the quote unquote patriarchy. And this is what brings us to this another piece of information. This is from 2022. Transformer soccer team wins 23-0 uh, as long as my D has an F of feminine. Um, in Spanish, femenino means you are a woman. I will play in a women's team. In Spain, a Catalan striker who began the gender transition three years ago says she will serve in the CEO, he will serve in the CE Europe as long as the F remains on her ID, his ID. And it and it says she has born a woman. Yeah. Uh, the this this nonsense. Uh, I want to read a piece of this paragraph that actually is going to know something. Here is the fact that is that all situation could be a contradiction with the trans law itself promoted by the minister of equality of Spain, Irene Montero, Podemos, I can, we can, sorry, we establish that athletes will be governed by their own identity and not by biological rules. This woman, <laughs> the the, she is the one that has been preaching this nonsense in Spain and has been infected in other countries because I know she went to Argentina just to preach this nonsense of feminists and LGBTI, LGTB, 4K, surround sounds, I don't know. Well, they, they keep adding letters to the to the, to this groupment and even they they have they want to appropriate from the whole letters of the abecedary. I don't know why they keep even allow this, but well, no, never mind. I ask, I answer that myself. This radicalized woman allowed it. Atlas will be governed by their own identity and not by biological rules. So what? If Alex feels like a man, why does he have it in a woman's team? Chapter 5 of the revolution dedicated to the protection in the field of sport was from the beginning of the drafting of this lab of one of the most controversial points. From, from the beginning, feminist has opposed. But you allow that? You put a feminist in this uh, leech vampire of organizations for the government ministry of equality minister of equality is just a way of saying it's a, a ministry of discriminations and they has been discriminating a lot of men and is masculating them making laws against him like for example this woman one of the first controversies she started is a law called coc which means yes or yes uh, long story short there was a situation when a woman falsely accused three guys of struggles in her, but in, in reality she was only consenting. But that, does, that doesn't stop this Irene Montero, this minister of this discrimination group in Spain, where she created this law, which means doesn't matter if there is evidence. A guy can be throw a jail in jail without evidence and without a trial. That's insanity.
the alliance against the arose of women opposes, opposed this trans love, the draft of which was leaked a few weeks ago by the Minister of Equality, Irene Montero. The association related to the PSOA, headed by the former socialist deputy, man, socialist, uh, Angeles Alvarez, and backed by Vice President Carmen Calvo, has been opposed in the last year to the policies carried out by Irene Montero considered that they constitute an attack on women. But again, she's the woman that preached this nonsense. And even then, the, the, the last controversy I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find out an article bringing it that topic. She, this woman made a vote that's saying the, the child dealers are are a, actually a marginalized group and I'm not joking about that. The P word of the, of the file, the child dealer, the actually evil monsters that are throw a jail in Spain because a reformer law she introduced sentences from 20 years to 40 years of jail that this monster received has been reduced from 50% to, to even 75% like uh, guys that, well, not guys, evil monsters that actually attack, attack children got their sentences reduced and they're gonna let it let, gonna li be leaving in jail more more quickly than you could even imagine even and even if they have been serving sentences for uh, quite a long time uh, in, and in this I blame in part of the US how not only they have been attacking men how they are radical as women. They want to keep preaching nonsense of the men just have to take it. Honestly, man, if you want to start a family in the US, if you are from the US and you want to start a family there, obviously the answer is not. Go overseas, but don't I don't think going to Latin America is gonna do you any good. Because these nonsense groups are already here. And this is not going to stop. It's going to be far, far worse. And in, sub in Paraguay, I have a bias against the US because this is the first place where everything started. And they keep promoting this stupid shit. And even in masculine men, like for example in this article <laughs> from the Trustworthy news as much as to letting your kid near the bleach. Cock holding can be positive for some couples to this age. And uh, you can make this up. You can make this shit up. You can. You cannot make this shit up. Uh. <laughs> In our current political climate, the term cock, short for cockservative, has become an insult to so-called all right aim at men that built was panning and immaculate. Well, actually I have to give the credit to this because traditional conservatives, the all all farts created this because they wanted to vote from woman and they they made the far left I already said they made the far left that what it is today and how they preach uh, I don't think this is worth mentioning just I just gonna be leave you this headline This is what they try to preach. 
and has been doing it for a very long time. I don't know what, what you think about this, but I'm, I'm just sick of this. I, I've been witness more and more of this nasty behavior, and the more this politics keep being approached, it's gonna get far, far worse for everyone. And I, in, unironically, what this woman preach affects women who are not in this in this mindset because you have situations when in modern day the marriage don't last longer than they used to but hey if, if a woman tries to get a divorce she gains half of it and she even has the custody of the kids and she gets all the money and if the guy is the one who wants to get divorced, he and then bills grow up at the same time. Because the, nowadays, these radical, these feminist groups, they made possible to preach laws that discriminate men, emasculating and radicalizing in the process. And in the uh, Latin America continent, is the same. It's going to be... Far, far worse from now on, uh, I am keep repeating myself, it's going to get far worse. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section, it's there for you. Have a good day.